Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new review. Yes, just a short one. Um, I've just come out of seeing No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence. I thought the trailer for this, it, it looked absolutely hilarious. Total crass language, hilarious scenes and uh, did what did is that what I got in the film? Not really, but let's talk a little bit about it. Okay, so Jennifer Lawrence plays Maddie. Uh, she's an Uber driver. She lives in Montague, Montague. And um, she's got a financial problem. She might be losing her house. And she uh, she has her car taken away uh, because she can't, you know, can't make payments uh, on tax. Now this causes a bit of a problem uh, because she can't earn money. So she's in danger of losing the house completely. Uh, she needs to get some money, she needs to earn some money, and she sees an ad from a couple that want her, want their 19 year old son to have a bit of woman experience before he buggers off to Princeton University. And um, if the right person applies, they'll give them a car. And that's perfect for her, so she can go. She can get a car, so she can go and you know carry on doing her Ubering. Uh, it's a bit awkward, you know. The the uh, the kid or the nineteen year old, he's a bit unknown to the world. He's a bit social awkwardness, and um, yeah, and she needs to try and bring him out of his shell and basically shag him <laughs> yes and um, yeah that's basically it that's basically it I think the trailer showed the best parts of the film the funniest parts of the film um, I did laugh probably or giggle maybe three times three or four times and that's the bits that are in the trailer other than that it was just a steady very basic get to know you kind of shag you before you leave um, kind of film um, she could have been a lot funnier she could have been a hell of a lot funnier the scenes that were funny yeah okay they got a, they got a good giggle um, there was a couple of guys down in the front row almost in the front row they were having a hell of a lot more fun than I was because they laughed, or one of them laughed, the entire film. An hour and 45 minutes. You know in Star Trek Generations, when Geordie gives Data the emotion chip, and Data starts losing control and just laughing, I cannot help myself, you know. I think there's something wrong with the chip. And he just keeps laughing and laughing, and Geordie's like, we haven't got time for this, Data. That's what it was like for an hour and 45 minutes. Even someone shutting a door, they were laughing. Yeah, someone driving down the road, they were laughing. What is it, compulsive laughing syndrome or something? <laughs> Probably does bloody exist. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that funny, guys. It wasn't that funny. Um, but uh, Jennifer Lawrence was good, but she's been a hell of a lot better than this. Yeah, she should have been really crass in this. It said on the... 15 certificate or 12a certificate whichever it was i can't remember crass lang crash la crass language and i was expecting something something like the in-betweeners but not really no pretty much no crass language to be honest um the only surprise was matthew broderick um he played the uh, the 19 year old guy's dad uh, and um, kind of unrecognisable, really. 
uh, it took me a couple of minutes to realise who it was. Yeah, um, so yeah, it's nothing special. I was expecting a hell of a lot, hell of a lot funnier than this. Um, it's probably not even going to be one that I'm going to buy. It's just going to be, you know, if it's on Sky or it comes on Netflix, just watch it. Just watch it. Um, it's really not that funny. The funniest bits you see in in the actual um, in the actual trailer, which is a shame, because basically you might as well just watch the trailer. Yeah, um, that's it, basically. Um, how am I going to rate it? Um, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a four and a half. I'm going to give it four and a half out of ten. It wasn't that bloody funny. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, the funniest thing in the entire film was the guy down the bottom of the cinema laughing for an hour and 45 minutes. Anyway, um, yeah, I've come, I've come to realise that I've be, I'm being a little bit generous with ratings these days. Um, I know if I love something, I'll give it a good rating, but I think because a certain thing was a certain franchise, I just gave it a big rating so I am changing my rating off the flash I know you heard it here yes I enjoyed the flash I loved the flash I saw it twice in cinemas I will buy the steelbook but I gave it a 10 out of 10 and I think that is that's that's pushing it a little bit um, because now, after a few days, I've come to think of it, it's not as good as Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, definitely not. But uh, yeah, I'm changing my rating for The Flash. I'm going to make it an eight and a half. I'm going to make it an eight and a half out of ten. So um, I'm going to think about what ratings I'm going to give films. Uh, because uh, just giving everything a ten or giving everything a nine without thinking about it and how you reacted through the film, how it affected you. Are you still thinking about it three days later? Uh, 10 out of 10 was a bit generous. Yeah, anyway, so there we go, but no hard feelings, got four and a half out of 10. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share, and I'll see you on the next video very soon where I butcher enough a film and give it a shit rating. <laughs> Bye-bye.